But Mark, you know, we've experienced this for a long time now. You know, Twelve years that there's been a pinstripe bowl. New sponsor this year with Bad Boy Mowers. And you and I know the holidays in New York, this time of year, it's always special. This bowl has become part of the fabric of New York this time of year. I want to give you the opportunity to, to welcome everybody in as, as we kick off what's going to be a Thank really you. fun few weeks. Thank you, Ryan. I can't believe it's been 12 years. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome. On behalf of Team President Randy Levine and the entire Steinbrenner family, I'd like to welcome everyone to the 12th annual Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl. Boy, that sounds good. Hmm. To the Minnesota Golden Gophers, your first time playing here. To Coach Fleck, A.D. Mark Coyle, and the entire Gopher Nation around the country, welcome. I hope to see you view, a lot of you here for the game. And, of course, to Syracuse. Uh, Coach Babers, who I've known for many years, A.D. John Wildheck, and the hundreds of thousands of Syracuse loyal fans, both in the New York metropolitan area and tri-state area, as well as upper New York State, welcome. We hope to see you here as well. The 12th annual Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl is truly a season of firsts this year. It's the first time a two-time Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl champion in Syracuse is playing in our game, going for a record-setting third win. It's hard for me to believe that it's 10 years, 10 years since Syracuse last played in the Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl. It's 10 years since Prince Tyson Gully ran wild on the field for about 220 <laughs> yards Remember in the that. snow. Remember yeah. that, Ryan? And Ryan Nassib was throwing darts on the field, and of course, in one of Doug Marode's signature games, he was carried off the field in the snow. Yeah. And, and went on to great things from there. It's also the first time for Big Ten powerhouse Minnesota to play in our game. We've been following the Golden Gophers for many years. They've had a fine record for a number of years, a nationally ranked team with a dynamic young coach in P.J. Fleck and some great players, including Mohamed Ibrahim, I hope I pronounced that right, one of the top running backs in the country, and, of course, a linebacker. His first name's Mariano. Yeah. Fits. Mariano, sorry, Mariano. Now, how could a Mariano, Ryan, not be, <laughs> not be successful in Yankee Stadium? <laughs> it's also the first time in recent memory that a conference has delivered in the Big Ten. When we entered into the deal, they said they would deliver eight different schools in eight years. And with all the bowls in, in, in business now, that's very hard. Congratulations, Commissioner Kevin Warren, prior Commissioner Jim Delaney. You're able to accomplish that. That's a great, that, it's not easy to do. It's also the first time for a new title sponsor for the Pinstripe Bowl, Bad Boy Mowers, who is celebrating their 20th year in business. <laughs> Thank you, CEO Pete Ballantyne. Thank you, Director of Marketing, Lindsey Keller. In today's sports landscape, you had many different opportunities to choose. You could have picked a variety of different sports and a variety of different bowls, yet you chose ours. And we're thrilled that you did, and we hope to live up to all of your expectations. I'd also like to thank at this time Michael Tusiani from the New York Yankees and Chris Foy from Legends. Without them, the Bad Boy Mowers sponsorship would not have been possible. Bad Boy Mowers is a great company, and their products are known for reliability, ruggedness, and power. And they're at the forefront of innovation. And it's those same qualities which were in Syracuse and Minnesota, which is why we chose those two schools. A lot of people don't know it, Ryan, and we'll get into it further. But we do have choices when we pick the team that participates in the bowl. <laughs> And we've chosen to pick those two teams for a reason. And we feel that they embodied all those qualities that Bad Boy Mowers embodies as well. And uh, we're thrilled to have both of them. Finally, this game is also a testament to the late, great George Steinbrenner's vision. And I can't give an introduction to our bowl game without talking about George for a minute or two. George was also a very close friend. And John, excuse me if I pronounce it. Excuse me if I pronounce it wrong. Your former AD Jack Crothamel. 
<laughs> is that how he's okay? He uh, George is a very close friend of him, as well as former Big Ten Commissioner Wayne Duke. He was a huge person on the college football scene. And next to baseball, George's first love was football. For many of you that don't know, George was an assistant coach both at Purdue and Northwestern before he went into his dad's shipbuilding business. And when he built the new Yankee Stadium, it was always his dream to have big time college football here. And I know that he would be thrilled that we were able to uh, take the bad boy mowers pinstripe bowl to where it is today, and I know that George is smiling. Later in the program, Ryan, we'll, we'll talk about what we're doing the week of the bowl. We have a lot of the same terrific events that we've had in past years, and we'll get into that as we get later into the body of this program, and it's now back to you. Yeah, one thing I want to follow up with you right away, Mark, you talked about the selection process and, and how there are choices. Mm -hmm. you know, give us a little idea of, of how you did land on Syracuse and Minnesota and, and why those two programs are going to be participating in the Pinstripe Bowl this year. Well, we pick, I'd like to call it, in the middle of the pack. And we always have some options. And we, like I said, we want the schools to embody certain qualities that the Yankees have. And we also want schools that we believe will resonate here at Yankee Stadium. Obviously, Syracuse has played here before. You've seen the results. We've had packed stadiums both times, and there, there are a tremendous amount of alumni within this region. Minnesota, okay, it, the program has been very solid the last few years. They have a great coach. They also have a pretty strong alumni base in that Boston to Washington corridor, corridor which is very important for us to be able to draw from. Also, Christmas time, you want to have an, uh, an airport relatively accessible, and there's some major airports right in Minneapolis, St. Paul, that you could fly into multiple airports here. And we just felt the combination of those two schools, they played against each other a few times. Um, they both are exciting teams, can be explosive at times. Uh, both have good defenses. Um, both play very hard for their coaches. We just felt it would be a very attractive combination, not only for the fans at our game, but all the people watching on television, hopefully, across the country. No doubt. And that game, of course, is going to be December 29th. 2 p.m. on ESPN as well as ESPN Radio. More on the, the week and the experience in a moment from you, Mark. But now 